Here we are off again into this series on Android accessibility. Now, um, the teacher says that accessibility appeals to everyone who needs to see things or they need to hear things, especially in this example on Android. This short lesson will be on a mouse arrow and the size of it. But before we come to that, look, how many times have you had uh, an example where you've seen someone in real life and you've seen them look at their mobile like this with a huge squint as I can't see it, I can't see it. The obvious thing is either make the screen bigger, maybe wear some glasses, do whatever it is to make sure that you can see things. For me personally, very common. You know that people are looking down on their mobile, they can't see it because sight is an incredible thing. Also, light is an incredible thing with another example here from um, Seinfeld with Kramer in the chicken rooster episode where he opens the door and the neon sign is so strong it literally bends him over backwards. So what I'm getting at here is accessibility is common for all of us. So how can we take one tiny example to show that? Now in my right hand at the moment is a mouse which is plugged in through a USB on the go OTG cable. Now to make things easier by sight if we press and hold down there, look, see, I'll just turn it off again. A very small mouse, you can see it moving up and down, click, and it becomes really big. Now, all of a sudden, on our screen, we've got a really big mouse pointer that can be seen by anyone. So one tiny example here going over where I will show this screen. This is from YouTube because I just want to show the circles. And that is I've got a huge mouse pointer now on screen. And can you see that where it's hovered over the... Up. Oh, let me just um, pause that because I don't want to do any copyright issues here. And that is, you can see a big circle, big circle, big circle, big circle. Let's take that off of screen straight away. So that was accessibility with Android and a tiny little thing as I work through these to try and make them appeal to as many people as possible, even if there's 10 or 15 people who see this and go, actually, I didn't know what talkback is or select to speak or as I go through and I'm just using my mouse wheel in my right hand here to move down with a lot of the other things that I have dealt with in previous videos but it's very very important because you never know when you need something in accessibility to make the things bigger or smaller or slightly different in colour. So let's just end with the idea which is from anybody at all who is using one of these mobiles, quite small, in the street or whatever, there must be an alternative from actually saying, yes, I've got this mobile, I really love it, but hey, I just can't see it. New man!